Just last year after the good golly Miss Molly singer and legend Little Richard passed away, his secluded estate in Lynchburg, Tennessee came up for sale at only $350,000. At the time of the rock and roll icon's death, it was reported that he split his time between this home as well as a penthouse suite at the Hilton in downtown Nashville for some years. Today we'll check out where Little Richard called home including his rural Tennessee property, another former Spanish style home in Los Angeles and more. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Richard Wayne Penniman, better known as Little Richard, was a musician, singer and songwriter and most definitely an influential figure in music for his entire life. Nicknamed the innovator, the originator and the architect of rock and roll, his most famous works began in the mid 1950s. Little Richard is well known for his charisma and showmanship and his dynamic music, which included frenzied piano playing, raspy shouted vocals and more. Either way, this all laid the foundation for the rock and roll genre. With his instant hit songs like Tutti Fruity to Long Tall Sally and multiple others, Little Richard's songs will be around for decades to come. He was an influence to numerous artists across genres from rock to hip hop and also helped shape rhythm and blues for generations. Little Richard was honored by many and received many awards and accolades throughout his life, including being inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and much more. Unfortunately, he lost his battle with bone cancer and passed away last year, but his legacy will live on. At the time of his death, Little Richard's net worth was at an estimated $40 million. The piano pounding entertainer was rarely seen in public without his glam and full wig, but when he was retreating at home, his main residence was his property in Lynchburg, Tennessee. He reportedly acquired this home back in the mid 2000s. He also formerly lived in a Spanish revival style abode in the Los Angeles Lafayette Square neighborhood, which sold for $1.8 million a couple of years ago. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video. Daily. Today we're looking at where the late icon Little Richard once called home including his Tennessee estate he lived at at the time of his death and more. And if you like this video we've also done house tours on other music legends such as Ray Charles and Prince which we'll link to at the end. As always don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. First, let's take a quick look at Little Richard's childhood home located in Macon, Georgia. This small shotgun style home is where he lived on and off throughout his youth as one of 12 children. The house was preserved when the neighborhood expanded the freeway and they moved the house to its current location just a mile away. These days, Little Richard's childhood home has been turned into a community resource center as well as a tribute to the late musician. The quaint home spans 730 square feet according to paperwork and was located in the Pleasant Hill neighborhood and Little Richard lived here until his Tutti Fruity hit came out in 1955. The house was moved in 2017 to the current location, which coincided with his 85th birthday. They used the Little Richard house as a resource center, offering services like technology training, job preparation, and much more. He said about the house's restoration, I thank y'all for loving me through the years and I still love y'all. Thank you for everything you've ever done for my old house. That old house has a lot of Tutti Fruity al Rudy. In 2019, one of Little Richard's former homes came up for sale and ended up being sold for $1.8 million. This estate was located in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Lafayette Square and Little Richard lived here back in the 1950s if you can believe it. Lafayette Square is a historic semi-gated neighborhood in the central area of LA. This home was built in 1923 in a Spanish revival style and Little Richard purchased the place for himself and his mother Leva Mae Stewart. While he lived here, the two level home was an open house for entertainment of sorts, with Little Richard hosting his famous friends. Artists like James Brown, Jackie Williams, Etta James, and the Coasters were among the friends visiting the home, and Little Richard would always share his dinners with guests. There's about 3,300 square feet of space here with four beds and three bathrooms, which were all fixed up and restored. The listing materials describe the home as the Tutti Fruity house, and walking in, there's a formal entryway opening to the large living spaces. Of course, there's a grand living room, grand enough for Little Richard to once
once entertaining, boasting original hardwood floors and a tiled fireplace. Elsewhere, there's a cozy sunlit den or family room with garden views, which is located right off of the living room area. The kitchen has a period vibe in the design, and there's also a cute nook to eat at with stained glass windows. The home features a dining room and a balcony overlooking the yard. Not to mention, this LA property is also where Richard married Ernestine Campbell in a 1959 ceremony, so the place has some Hollywood history. At the end of 2020, Little Richard's main residence, where he was still living at the time of his death, came up for sale at the low, low price of $349,000. The place was in need of some updates and TLC, which is why it wasn't priced higher, and it was also located in a quiet and rural area. The home is located in Lynchburg, Tennessee, which is a quaint little town full of southern charm. It's in the south central part of the state and has a population of just over 6,000. Not to mention, it's the home of Jack Daniels Whiskey. It's about 75 miles outside of Nashville, but when the entertainer wanted to stay in the city, it said he also had a part time penthouse suite at the Hilton downtown which he lived at. Little Richard's home was secluded in private, spanning just over 6,000 square feet of space with six beds, four full baths, and two half baths in total. The brick residence sat on nearly 14 acres of land full of thick woods and on a hill, and it was actually two self-contained homes under a single roof. Apparently, each of the residences had three beds and 2.5 baths, and while each had its own entrance, they shared the same entrance foyer. Once inside Little Richard's former home, you'll see the place is quite dated, and interiors of one of the units had mostly grey and taupe colored walls. The other one though was extra colorful and vibrant like the flamboyant showman himself. One of the kitchens had rich wood cabinets and black appliances, likely in need of an upgrade, but both kitchens at the property were still spacious and functional. In photos, we can see a carpeted living room or den with fireplace and large window which was quite neutral. Another room also had a fireplace, this time fit into a corner next to a wine staircase, and here there were French doors out to a deck with views of the woods. Not to mention, the walls in this room were painted a bright baby blue, clashing with the emerald green carpets. And the colored rooms don't stop there either. Another space paired pea green and scarlet red walls, while another featured a plum accent wall, and one of the larger bedrooms in Little Richard's estate was painted in an Easter style pale lavender color. There was a bright formal dining room with wall of windows and sparkling chandelier overhead, and entertaining areas had a mix of hardwood and carpeted floors. Elsewhere, there was even what looked like a bonus room with a skylight that could be used as an office space or even a mini home gym. As mentioned, the right side home featured the brighter color palette than the other with bright blues, flashy pinks, purples, and even splashes of fuchsia in various rooms. Despite Little Richard's home showing its age with the design, the two-in-one layout of the residence is definitely a selling point, just like the gorgeous land that surrounds the place. The property has plenty of secluded woods and space to relax and enjoy nature, Disturbed. Alright, so now we've taken a look at some of Little Richard's former homes, including the rural Tennessee residence he was living in before he passed away last year, and a Spanish revival home in LA he occupied in the 1950s. After checking out his homes, what did you guys think? While the Tennessee property was dated and needed some serious work, the layout of the home was pretty cool, and I for one think it had a ton of potential. Some modern upgrades and new paint colors in the place would be quite the impressive mansion. The grounds of the home and wooded property alone were a selling point. Just think of the nature. But I would definitely have to add a pool though. Be sure to tell me what you liked or didn't like about Little Richard's homes down in the comments. If you haven't, go subscribe to my personal channel because I would love to get to know all of you better. We'll link you my latest video for you to check out. All right, all right, all right. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna start talking about David Berkowitz. So, like I said, David Ber Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.